Hey guys, Stephen here from Heresy Academy. This video should be quite a quick video. All we're going to, uh, all we're going to do in this video is set up the click function and to add coins and to update the coin text. But uh, I, I feel like we'll get it done in a nice time. So I'm adding a folder. I'm going to call it scripts. And open up the scripts folder, which can't do in this because it's one column view. So right click and create a C sharp script. And we'll just call this click. So it'll be click.cs. Uh, one couple of things I want to change was the click button itself. Um, which one, which one, uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. So, um, just type to write sell fruit or something like that if you wanted. Uh, we will format things a bit, again a bit later on if you wanted as well. Uh, the coin counter as well, let's uh, write that. Oop. Wanted to write the zero on there to make sure it fits. So we're gonna save that. Uh, I've not changed I've not changed the rectangle transform yet. I could do that now and say that's where I want it to be, but I've not fully decided uh, on the aspects because I'm gonna wait until we add the text which will be in the next video and then I'll decide on scaling. So anyway, get the click script and open it in mono develop, which again I forgot to open, so it may take a few seconds to open. So yeah, that's that really. The way it is. So just to talk you through what we're going to do. We're going to grab a public text, and this will be our coin counter text. Which again, I've just pointed at the screen. Pfft, never mind. Uh, we'll set up a float, which will be our, um, our fruit or crops sales. Um, we'll initialize it at zero, which will change in, which will change as we click. Something like this. And then we'll also have a float which will be crop per click. And we'll start it off with one. So you click one, one, one. And this upgrade will cost like 10, 100, 1000, whatever. Whatever we check, we, we check, whatever we choose. So this is this ready? It's just loaded. There we go. <clears throat> so to start off with them, we want to grab three publics. And I'm not going to try and shortcut, so I'm just going to accept the fact that it doesn't work. Okay, my bad, forgot. I want to start off with using unity engine dot ui otherwise it will not recognize what i'm about to write which is text because we want a public text and this will be our score text or coin counter we'll call it coin counter keep it um not themed but keep it logical then we want to create two public floats the first one will be sales no yeah we'll call it sales uh, we'll have it at zero, so I'll just keep it with nothing there. Have another public float, and this will be sale per click, I suppose. That makes sense. Sorry, what happened there? I was, I was just somehow clicking the space in between the two keys and just missing the key. Fair enough, that happens. We don't need the start function, we may use it later on, so we'll keep it here. And so, down in the update function, <clears throat> we're going to simply write our. Uh, Coin counter dot text with lowercase t, then when it equals, uh, what should we put? So here we put it in in um, in speech marks. So we're going to write what we want, what, it, what we want it to say. So we say coins, and we'll put a space, and then we'll we'll add it and sales. So that makes no sense really. So the public float up here, I'm going to write as coins. And then I'm going to change this to coin per click. Even though I'm trying to make it logical that you you're going for you are selling fruit, we'll just basically say that's how many coins you get. That's that's that would make more sense. So we change this now to plus coins. So what this will do it, inside here, it will write in our text box. It will say coins with a colon and then a space plus the amount of coins we have, so the number that this becomes. Okay. That's all you need to do for the update function. Then what we want to do is make a public void, and this is going to be important because we're using buttons. And I'll show you how to set it up. Uh, I think I actually did. We've done something similar to this when we made uh, a menu in the breakout clone, but this is more completely all about the UI. So I'll explain the buttons again. So we're going to go for public void, and we'll call it clicked because you know we've clicked stuff. So open our um, what's it me doodles? You know the parentheses, the brackets. Then inside this function, we're going to make it very, very simple. And um, we're going to go for coins and plus and equals. 
and then I'm going to go for coin per click. Okay, so the point coin per click should be we should start this off as one, you know, even though we don't particularly need to, we can do it in the inspector. Um, but this is it for the script, really. This is as basic as we need to make it. Like I said, we can come back to it later on, we can manipulate things if we need to. We may or may not use the start function. So I'm just going to save this and drop back over to Unity. <clears throat> Let it load in. Which normally goes a bit quicker. There we go. So we'll go over to our click button and so we can close off the rectangle transform for now. Close off the image, uh, button script itself. We're going to keep that. Okay, so it's not going to let me drag it, is it? There we go. I'll drag my script over here. So I've added it, in, uh, added, it, added it in now. So you'll see the three options we've got. We've got coins. Coins is zero. Coins will stay as zero because we've not increased it. You know, we haven't got any coins to start with. So for the text, our coin counter, which is the same as our coin counter here. That's why I named it that. I tried to keep it the same. So just drag the element there. And the coin per click is equal to one. So I'm going to save this. And if I try it out, it's not going to do anything. Because this here now, on click. So the list is empty. So we're going to click the plus. And then over here, you've got to wonder oh, what object did you do. You want, you want to find the click function we made, which is inside the click script, which will be the object we need. So you grab your click button and just drag it onto this object here. Go into your no function and you go down to click because that's the name of the script. Then go across to clicked which is the function we made and then you open that up. And save this now and you can watch the coins here or watch the coins there. So maximize it on play. You, you'll see the buttons go all squishy. We're not setting this up properly yet. But you sell through. You got one coin, two. Quite literally, that's it. So what you could do, um, like I said, you can have the setup to be the farmer at some point later on, and you just click. And every time you click, you could you could make a particle system to fire out fruit, have it drop and fade away. And that, everybody, is the end of the video. This this is all I want to show you was how to get up the click there. Uh, I have got things set up now to look into doing the upgrades next and the items, things like that. But I want to try and just get this video done right now, and hope you'll be able to follow along. If not, uh, drop some questions in the comments. Uh, give the video a like or dislike if you disliked it. Please like it. And also subscribe because uh, I'm going to be trying to work on this series as much as I can. Get the get the majority of it done and ready all in one swoop. So you should see them all on my channel. And then as each new one comes out, you'll be able to see it. You know how the subscribe works. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.